Gombe State, the jewel in the savannah. This is Gombe State. Gombe State is one of the 36 states of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, located in the center of the northeast of the country. It is bordering Bordo, Yobe, Adamawa, Taraba, and Bauchi states, with a land area of 20,265 square kilometers, with the population projected at 2 million. 857,470. Gombe State was cut out from the defunct Bauchi State on the 1st of October 1996 by the late former head of state and commander in chief of the armed forces of Nigeria, late General Sunny Apacha. The present governor of Gombe State, Al Haji Dr. Ibrahim Hassan Dangwambo, has been rated the best governor in the northern Nigeria following an excellent performance within his seven and a half years in office based on his outstanding achievements in road and infrastructural developments. He was sworn into office on the 29th of May 2011. No doubt, the leadership and development stride of His Excellency, the Governor of Gombe State, Dr. Ibrahim Hassan Dangwambo, is second to none. This visionary leader, Al Haji Hassan Dangwambo, was born on the 4th of April 1962. He graduated from Amadou Bello University in 1985 with a degree in accounting. He obtained a Master of Science degree in economics from the University of Lagos in 1992 and a PhD in accounting from Ibnedium University. Al Hadi Dankwambo was appointed Accountant General of the Federation on the 20th of April 2005, a position held until he resigned to start his campaign for election as Governor of Gombe State. Achievements of Al Haji Ibrahim Dangwambo as the governor of Gombe State have been extraordinary in agriculture. Gombe State, being known as an agrarian state, has been transformed within the past seven and a half years under Dangwambo government with more than 375 tractors. Markets were constructed to encourage cotton farm, poultry, amongst others. He picked education as his priority number one, two, and three. That makes it very easy for him to address the issue of education squarely. And by so doing, he was able to uh, create state of emergency in education, starting from the primary level to tertiary institutions up to the university level. And by so doing, he was able to construct quite a number of primary schools across the local government in the city, which are very, very uh, numerous in number. Too numerous to mention at this critical time. But uh, he was able to achieve that. Some are constructed under the UBE program. Some are constructed directly by the State Ministry of Education. Some of the projects are spare pro 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 project, which are, you know, uh, partly been done by it's a joint project between the state and the national uh, national uh, UBE from the national. Then some are directly being constructed by the state government. By so doing, we are able to achieve a lot because if you don't have a strong and, and uh, very effective primary schools, there is no way you can you know revive the educational sector. 
up to the level of uh, uh, tertiary institutions or uh, the university. And uh, as for me, if you uh, construct or create universities in the state or any university without having a sound primary school background, primary and secondary school background, I don't think the aim will be achieved. So because of his foresight in education, that's why he took education as his priority number one, two, and three. So based on that, we are able to achieve so much in the area of education. In education, the Dangwambo administration has delivered as promised by renovating and construction of over 502 classrooms, recruitment of over 1,500 degree stroke NCE graduates, apart from training of over 5,000 teachers. Before his administration, we have only one state university that is functioning in the state and one federal university which was created during the last administration of our former president, Goodluck Jonathan, which was uh, located in Kasheri, an outskirt of Gombe Metropolis. But with the coming of uh, Ibrahim Hassan Dankombo, he understand the problem our people are facing at the grassroots. Some are lacking the educational qualification to get admission into university. Some are becoming more redundant, you know, roaming about in the street because they lack that requirement for admission into the university. As such, there are a need for the government to take care of that class of people that are, who are not able to secure admission into university. That necessitated the creation of tertiary institutions like the State Polytechnic, State College of Education, to train and retrain our teachers so that we can have a strong and reliable teachers in both primary and secondary school education. Then the Polytechnic, to train our youth who are not able to secure admission into university, some trade programs, some trade test programs, so that they can secure technical, they can be self-reliant and work as technicians in most of the uh, MDAs that we have. And some can even be more independent and more reliable so that they can work on their own. Like the advantage we are having we are with the location of Ashaka Cement, the Lafarge Cement factory around in Gombe State, which is a multinational company that, that is the only company that is functioning here in this state, even though it's not owned by the state government, it's a private limited liability company. But the situation of that company or the location of that company in Ashaka Cement makes things easy for the government to set up a polytechnic in the same local government where this company is located so that they can be training and training of our students, of our youths that are not able to, you know, secure admission to universities. Some will go and have their training programs in that company. That gives us a lot of opportunity to do that. And to take that opportunity, the government set up the Polytechnic very close to the company. And in addition to that, the state government, the governor went ahead and, uh, went ahead and uh, set up a college of education, school of legal and Islamic studies in Nafada, uh, you know, a school of uh, basic and remedial studies, which is now been changed to Gumbi uh, State University of Science and Technology because of the structures that we have there, the standard, everything is up to... Uh, uh, NUC standard and for that reason that college was upgraded to the status of Gumbi State University of Science and, Te and Technology because it possesses all the qualities that science university needs to have. Still on education, he has a school of basic and remedial studies Kumo, College of Education Billary Established State Polytechnic by Joga, College of Legal and Islamic Studies, Nafada, and sponsored 30 students in maritime studies in India and United Kingdom.
In healthcare delivery, His Excellency Alhaji Dankwambo has upgraded urban maternity to children and women hospital located in ED. Construction of dialysis center and the specialized hospital Gombe. Construction of College of Nursing and Midwifery Dakduku. Construction of Snake Bite Kaltungo. Supply and installation of four dialysis machines and two dialysis chairs. In the housing sector, under his administration, 150 units of three and two bedroom ready for use. It is on record that Gombe State is the second least amongst the 36 states of the Federation in the area of monthly allocation from the federal government. But despite the limited financial resources, Al-Haji Dr. Ibrahim Dankwambo was able to transform Gombe State mostly in the area of infrastructure. One of his achievements is the construction and completion of the World Class International Conference Center Gombe, which is the largest and the most impressive in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. The Gombe International Conference Center is first of its kind in northern Nigeria. The conference center has 3,500 capacity mega hall and a parking lot that can accommodate 2,000 vehicles at a goal. Well equipped with maximum security for the users. As part of his achievements in the last seven and a half years, Ali Antai, special assistant on social media to Gombe State Governor, said that Haji Dr. Ibrahim Dankwambo established a Kekenna Pep assembly plant in Gombe State, first of its kind in the whole of Nigeria. Construction of ultra modern mega motor park and petroleum tanker bay in the state capital. Under the empowerment scheme of the Dankwambo government, release of 500 million Naira trade intervention funds to traders in the state, disbursement of loan obtained from the Bank of Industry to 150 cooperative society, empowerment of 1,500 less poorest of the poor through the condition of cash transfer (CCT) amongst others. We are also trying to do the conditional cash transfer to the uh, less or the physically challenged and the extremely very poor families, which is under the MDG. We have the census of those numbers and we are encouraging them like we have done to the calorie. Surrender your arms, we engage you. The physically challenged people too, the policy is for them to stop begging on the street and we will be giving them some conditional cash money. The condition is that you allow the son or your boy or whoever is leading you as a blind person to go to school or the person that is doing the street head walking to go to school while we give you some amount of money that will fail to sustain you for the month. In that way, enrollment will go up the, the the social vices in the society will reduce and people too will feel and have a sense of belonging to the society in which they live. Since the governor came in, that was in the year 2011, 
my ministry has done so many works. My ministry is involved basically with infrastructure. That's for roads, for street lights, traffic signals, and the airport. And when it comes to roads, for our township and rural roads, I, we've constructed about 1,670 kilometers of road and still going because about a month ago, His Excellency approved additional construction for about 10 different places. That's for township and regional roads. It's a silent achiever. It's somebody that keep on doing all that he can to ensure that development, there is a rapid development in Gombe State by establishing so many developmental projects in terms of youth empowerment, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of, uh, you know, education, agriculture, you know. If you go around the state, if you go around Gombe State now, you hardly see this Enkala Remenas that are moving around the streets because he, will, he was able to take them off the street by providing them with an employment opportunities and in some extent giving them training so that they can be self-reliant. Before this administration, if you come to Gombe, you will see how things are in terms of this uh, calorie activities. But you can uh, testify that you, have, you are in Gombe now, you have seen all that is happening, you are moving smoothly, without any harassment, without any embarrassment. And that is all because of the effort the state government has done in terms of taking the bad ones off the street and, you know, providing them with an enabling environment to operate. Even the, uh, the, the, the investors that are trooping to Gombe State now, you see, there are, there are some, it's something to be reckoned with because without a peaceful atmosphere, a, a, a peaceful environment, you hardly uh, expect any investor to come and invest in your place. But because of the provision of the enable environment, security-wise, you are aware that there was a serious security challenges in the northeast of region. But here in Gombe, we have not witnessed anything like that. That's why we keep on witnessing the inflow of people from other neighboring states to the extent of overstretching the facilities we have in the state. And all that is because of the peace-loving governor that we have, uh, Brian Hassan Dankombo, who really has Gombe State at his heart and who is ready to take Gombe to the next, to the next level. On infrastructure, the Dankombo government did creditably well by networking of roads all over the state strict lightning and beautification of the state capital. It is said that all work without play make Jack a dull boy. As a result of this, His Excellency Al Haji Dankwembo supported and sponsored Gobe United Club in all local and international matches, acquired in the sports hall from the National Sports Commission. They have done a lot. He invests so much that I would rather say even is yeah, is even beyond our expectation. When I as an office, I met him personally. We dis we discuss a lot on how to move this uh, sector uh, by meeting the expectation of our of the of those of. The, of, of of our people, especially the aspect of funding. This is the first time that a basketball team qualified from no season to play continental. We are able to, we, uh, we, we came second after the second to Canada Peters, after the Premier League. Then we went for African Zone Three. Again, we came uh, we came back second, and that 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 that's maybe we 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 are qualified to go for the continental uh, hotel in, in in Tunisia. That's our first time. Uh, uh, that's our first time 
we are able to beat countries like Uganda and, and the rest, including including even Angola. We, although we, we cannot we, we cannot take the gap, but at least we we are, we are able to demonstrate that uh, next time will be a team to uh, a, 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 we are going to be the team that will be difficult to defeat. Before taking over the mantle of leadership as the governor of Gombe State. There was stagnation of promotion in the civil service, low level of productivity and job vacancies. His Excellency Dr. Ibrahim Dankwambu therefore transformed the civil service by promoting over 2,000 officers in the senior and the junior cadre. His Excellency Ibrahim Hassan Dankwambu, OO and Talban Gombe, has done so much to ensure that uh, he has. Uh, bring in development to Gombe State within the period of his stay as the governor in the state. The first thing he did when he was uh, uh, inaugurated, when he was sworn in as the governor of Gombe State, he created a uh, 11 man sector based committee. That committee was saddled with the responsibility of checking all the sectors that we have in the state with aim of, you know, Checking what and what is lagging behind in those uh, ministries and uh, local government so that he can easily address those issues that are uh, causing uh, hiccups in those uh, ministries and those MDAs. The airport has been in existence, so what we know, what, what we usually do is, is to have a consultant who maintains the airport. But God so kind, about a month ago, the, um, there was a bill that passed for the establishment of Gombe State Airport Maintenance Agency, of which it will be in full swing, hopefully by the end of the year, because we've employed certain staff that will be manned, would be started with responsibility of maintaining the airport. First and foremost, they have to go for the required training. When they come back, that's when they take charge of their affairs. In the area of infrastructure under the Dankwambo administration, the Gombe State Airport Lawanti facilities and infrastructures were fully upgraded to the international standard for both local and international flights. It is often said that some people are born great by reason of families they are born into. Al Haji Ibrahim Hassan Dankwambo may have been born into a great family. Nonetheless, he has worked so hard to achieve greatness independently. No doubt, Dr. Ibrahim Hassan Dankwambo has been tested and trusted. The transformation of Gombe State in the last seven and a half years is a testimony.
Gombe State, the jewel in the savannah. Al Haji Dr. Ibrahim Dankwambo, the intelligent, innovative, proactive, and honest leader. <laughs>